this is another video of supraclavicular brachial plexus block here we can see the markings of the sternal head and clavicular head of sternocleidomastoid and this dotted line is the external jugular vein marking and after palpating the subclavian artery we have to mark it. this round is the subclavian artery now we have to insert the needle posterolateral to the subclavian artery and direct it corded medial and posterior direction and we have to seek for the twitches of the fingers initially we started with a current of 1 milliamperes and we have to decrease it gradually at see at 1 milliamperes we have got the twitches now we have to decrease the current gradually and this twitches it should be prevent present even at less than 0.5 milliamperes but it should be absent at less than 0.3 milliamperes so when the muscle twitches are present even at less than 0.3 milliamperes it indicates intraneural placement of the needle and the needle has to be withdrawn after negative aspiration for blood we have to inject around 25 to 30 ml of local anesthetic solution either bupivacaine or ropivacaine